I'm gonna do it. Gotta do it. Come on. Hey guys. Um, my name is Nick Humphreys. I'm 23 years old. And today is the scariest day of my life. Today I'm quitting everything. Uh, leaving everything behind. I'm gonna chase my dreams of becoming a professional footballer. And I don't know how I'm gonna do it. How I'm gonna get there. If you got dreams, you gotta chase them. Now is the time. Now is really the time. I gotta, I gotta do this. Cause this money is all they see now. Oh more now they want it shit for free now. Oh they want me cause my whole fucking campfire. It wasn't with me when I had my fucking inside. If I just don't pick up the phone Nothing personal but fuck it though Say what they want We ain't going where I'm going, no Never see them wanna lend a hand To you the man You throwing like a hundred bands And now they friends Why oh, I hit them with a change of plans You had your chance We ain't going where I'm going, no You never worry about your own life 23 but I've been grinding since like all night Check my watch, it said I'm blowing up in no time this is it, this is it, this is it I'm on a roll and it feels so right It's like the other day I fuck one of my hoes like I hit it once and left her hanging like a clothesline This is it, this is it Cause this money is all they see now Oh more now they want it shit for free now Oh they want me cause my whole fucking campfire It wasn't with me when I had my fucking inside if I just don't pick up the phone Nothing personal but fuck it though Say what they want We ain't going where I'm going, no Never see them wanna lend a hand To you the man You throwing like a hundred bands And now they friends Why oh, I hit them with a change of plans You had your chance We ain't going where I'm going, no You never worry It ain't gonna happen in these hundred days 23 but I've been grinding since like all night Check my watch and said I'm blowing up in no time in Australia, as a 13-year-old, I'd wake up every time Chelsea had a match, Chelsea FC. This doesn't feel right. Every single game I'd wake up, 2 a.m., 4 a.m., midnight, whenever, whenever, whatever time it was, I'd wake up, whether it was during the week, during school, whatever. I didn't care. I had to, to watch my beloved team, Chelsea FC. Didn't matter if it was the third round of the League Cup, a match against Derby County, didn't matter. I just sit on this this couch, watching the matches on on TV at home, watching the English Premier League, and thinking, man, I would love to go to London and just just watch a Chelsea match. You know, it's at Stamford Bridge. I want to see my my idols: Didier Drogba, Joe Cole, Petr Cech, Frank Lampard, John Terry. I would just love to see them all play. But that was as far as. A dream would really go for me. See, I was 12 years old, 12, 13 years old, and I'd be playing for my local uh, local regional league in Australia, in Canberra, um, in my hometown. And I've been playing at this club, my local club, Bowdoin Valley, and uh, I've been there since I was about nine years old. I started off as a goalkeeper, and in my city would have like state level, which was the highest. I would have Division One. Division 2, Division 3, and at the start of every season, all the players, they go for tryouts and uh, get put in the, the respective divisions. So obviously state level is, is the best. Division 1, good players, but all the state level players are getting picked out of the Division 1 pool. Division 2, just, you know, the casual players. Division 3, really not good. And I remember I'd go to tryouts, I'd be thinking about tryouts weeks and weeks in advance, thinking, man, I really want to get into Div Division 1 this season. And I'd go to these tryouts and I, I thought I'd do, I'd do really well, and then I'd wait for the results. I'd wait so patiently for these results to come on the club website, and I'd be checking the website, checking the website. Is the list out yet? Is the squad list out yet? And I, and I check, and I go to the website, and the website would say something like, oh, 
congratulations to everyone that participated here the lists all right under 12s uh division one all right let me look for the for the name nick humphreys uh that's no that's nathan and i, I look down and no okay N nick. there was no nick humphreys and when that happened and it happened more than once, it happened twice or three times, I just, I cried. And I cried and, and I'd speak with my dad and my dad will call up the coach and ask, you know, what are the reasons behind the decision? And I can't remember what the, what the reasons were. Maybe it was because I was a small kid, um, but it would be heartbreaking for me, really heartbreaking because I loved, I love football. I love playing football and I thought I was good enough to play division one at least i don't think i ever seriously thought about playing football as a as a profession when i was when i was young so fast forward to me being 16 living in europe now in budapest hungary uh, my dad moved over there for work that's why me and my my parents were over there i saw my first chelsea match which by the way the first chelsea match i, I saw I, I made sure that i got this kit this was back in in 2008 and anyway some time passed and I love living in Europe and I really love that football culture in Europe. One day though, I had this moment of, of madness. Like in, in this moment of madness, I told myself, you know what? I can do it. I can become a professional footballer. I think I can do it. I, I think I can do it. I, I can chase this dream. I can chase it. Long, long story short, for seven years after that, I went from strength to strength to strength. And I still kept being the, the Chelsea fan that I am. And then boom, this 100 day challenge. I went all in, all in. I doubted myself. Am I in over my head with this? I picked myself back up. Things happened, but I just gotta move on. Lift my head up, had amazing trainings. Oh my goodness. Trialed. Hustled. The geese has just rocked up from Switzerland. <laughs> He's gonna bowl into the late in Orient training game. That's for a trial. Doubted. It ain't gonna happen in these 100 days. That's pretty much a fact now. And hustled again. Every person before they became great, they, they all went through the stage of self-doubt, of can they really do this when things are bad? But there's one moment that will stick out forever in this challenge. And it's that call. Um, have you heard anything since the trial at all? I haven't heard from anyone, no. Okay, uh, just to let you know then, that one of the scouts on the day, he actually scouted Chelsea. Chelsea, did he request your details on the day? Uh, I would never have dreamed that, out of all the clubs in England, that this team, this team out of all the teams would be interested in me, that the scout from this team would be interested in me. I mean, how? How? How's that even possible? I was, I was never supposed to be considered anything as a, as a 16 year old, as a 12 year old. No one ever said to me, Nick, I think you can become a professional player. Or I think that a, a scout from Chelsea is gonna scout you one day. Like I would say, if you told me that back when I was, when I was 12, I'd say, you mad mate? No, I'm not gonna be a footballer. I'm not supposed to be a footballer. But when I had this moment, I started this blog and I attended these trials when I was 16, 17. Man, I never got a call back. I never got scouted. No one said they were ever interested in me. Not once, not once. I mean, there's proof in this. I documented every single week of my life on a blog since I was 16. Every single week. At 23 years old, with absolutely no senior or junior professional experience, I was scouted by someone working at my dream club and it's all entirely due to never ever giving up. Hard work pays. Today I was just driving, dropping some workouts what I'll do this week. This creates some more space and time to receive the ball when under pressure. This will pay off. Now, though this happened, though the details were requested, 
though uh, the company UK Football Trials tried getting in contact with him again. He kind of disappeared. I don't know what happened to him. I don't know if he left Chelsea. I don't know if he's in hospital or something. I don't know. Didn't hear from him. But that was validation for this whole challenge. I want to prove to myself that I can make it. I, I want to prove to the world that I can make it. Everything that we've been working so hard for. This vlog thing I had in my mind for so long, for years. I wanted to show you guys the process of it, the ups and the downs, the struggles, and, and to show you guys the real process, man. That was, that was always my goal. I'm gonna be taking you every step along the way so you can see what it really takes to make it. With all this uncomfortableness, this constant state of uncomfortableness, not knowing what's gonna happen. I'm technically homeless, so I'm looking for a place to stay in the next two weeks. And I learned so many, so many things about myself which I, which I didn't know before. That pigeon you see, that's me. The one that decided it wasn't worth conforming to the beliefs and the expectations and the actions of others. It was better to take the road less traveled. Was it all worth it? Hell yes. Because what matters about this challenge is how I feel. And I've grown as a person, grown in experiences, grown in everything. I'm pumped. I am pumped. Guys, guys, you guys, you watching on the screen. Hello. <laughs> Your support has been incredible. I've gotten hundreds of messages of support and that's far outweighed far outweighed any negative comment that could be ever put towards me or towards this challenge or towards anyone going for their dreams. Just keep on grinding, man. Yeah. Basically, that's just it. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. It all come good, man. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's all right. I appreciate it. Yeah. Effective fam, you are amazing. You are amazing. Such positive people, so optimistic in times of distress, in times of when things aren't going good. Mentally, these last few days have been the toughest of this entire challenge. And what's been one of the most amazing things for me throughout this challenge is getting messages about how you guys have been applying certain things that you've learned along the way on this challenge. And that some of you created opportunities out of thin air. Some of you started scanning. Some of you started analyzing matches. Some of you started doing the training drills. Some of you just become naturally more confident through watching these videos. And for me, if I can inspire anyone to go chase their dream and just to go for it and to become better versions of themselves, Man, that's a mission accomplished for me. And one of the things I'll be doing with this vlog is showing you guys how to get better, how to improve. Most importantly, I want to inspire you guys to go chase your dreams. Thank you guys for being there with me every step of the way. Because I know we've been on quite a, a journey together. So what's next? What's next? My goal with all this was a pro contract, but Following that journey has led me here, London, England. And now we're here in London. I mean, this is amazing. Look at this. I don't know how to feel. Part of me wants to say, Nick, focus on the other stuff that you got going for you. Let's move on so you can focus on, on the other things. I wanted to chase this dream, pro contract. I wanted to vlog it. I wanted to do it my way. And I wanted to give it my all, which I did. But part of me is not satisfied maybe I never will be maybe I'll never be satisfied until I go out there and I just I play at least one minute of professional football just one minute 